Hello my friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create this abstract Mac logo inside of Affinity Studio. So without having to say much, let's get started. So this is the sketch of the logo I have made, right? So this is my sketch. So I want to make this more professional. So what I would like to do is I'll padlock this and um, I'll turn down the opacity like this. And I'm going to go over to my rectangle to click and I'm going to select this tool here, this teardrop. So I'm just going to draw it like this, um, draw from the middle. I'm holding down shift and control, right? I'm going to take it to the top like this and uh, remove the color. So I have just the outline. I'm going to increase the width here. Right, somewhere around here is good. So what I'll just do is I'm going to take this out like this and take this out like this. So I have a perfect shape. This is perfect, right? And um, I'm going to go over to my pen tool. Then I'm going to make a selection of the bolt, right? Let me start here. So click like this, click like this, click like this, and um, finish it up here like this. Do that again and finish it up here. Okay, easy peasy. So the next thing I'll do is click here, click out first, right? Go back to the pen tool. And I will start my second selection here to get this curve line and um, click and drag to create the curve like this. When you're done, click on the move to click out and go back to the pen tool again. Now, this time I'm going to do the same thing here. Click and drag to create the curve. Right, so I can use my node tool to put this in place like this and um, also with this one too i'm going to put this in place now from the look of things here oh, i'm going to move this in place too and um, position this well now from the look of things here we have things it's perfect right but it might not be so what you want to do is click on ctrl y to enter the wireframe now this is the wireframe session of this particular um logo i'm trying to create so i'm just going to join these lines so that i don't have anything overlapping right i'm going to check around so i don't have anything overlapping um i'm going to put this inside and i'm just going to leave this one at the bottom i'm going to remove it with my shape builder so ctrl y again to go out of that mode Highlight everything and go over to Shape Builder. And I'm just going to remove this with the minus. Then I'm going to switch back to the plus and I'm going to select this part like this. Now on this one, switch to the minus. I do not want this one in the middle. So I'm just going to click and it removes it automatically. So we have our shapes. So I can click on this and hide it. I no longer need it. So click on this one. And um, of course, I have my gradient ready already. Ctrl Z. And uh, make sure we're working on colors. But I'll just use mono colors. And I'll change it later on. So this should be a darker blue. This should be a red color, a lighter red. Move to this part here and this should be a darker red. Okay. So, um, I'm going to want to get rid of, okay. Apply the gradients there. 
So I want to highlight everything and get rid of the outline. So click on the outline and click on none. So selecting this, I'm going back to the color and I'm going to reduce the noise here. So you can choose to add yours and um, you can choose to do without it. But I'm just going to add it to mine to create that extra feel that I want. I'm going to make this into a gradient. Click on G on your keyboard like this and fill this up. So it's coming from a darker red to a lighter red. Click on G here and I'm going to rotate this. All right. Okay. So I'm going to make copy of this shape. Ctrl C, Ctrl V or Ctrl J, anyone you can use. I'm going to make this bigger. I'm going to rotate it just a little bit. And I'm going to change direction of the gradients. And I'm going to drag it on top of this to make a clipping mask. Right? So I've clipped it to that object. You can see how nice it is. So with this one also, I'm going to go from a darker blue to a lighter blue. Create another line, click on this one, make it a little bit lighter, and we're good to go. Select all of this and uh, make it a little bit smaller. You can as well go ahead to group them. I'm going to go over to my rectangle to select my rectangle and I'm going to draw a rectangle on the page like this. I'm going to change the color to white, drag it all the way down. And I'm going to use a real color this time. Just using something like this, I might see change this. Go over to the gradient and radial like this. And make this white. Change this color here and add an extra point here. Move it outside. Drag this out. And um, yes, I'm just going to have this like this. Easy peasy. All right, guys, if you've learned something from this video, make sure you like this video, share, and you're subscribed to this channel. I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.